Hi everyone, welcome back to Dr. Hans Classroom. A lot of you have asked me to talk about ivermectin use in COVID, and just last week a peer-reviewed meta-analysis paper was published looking at how ivermectin use in the prevention and treatment of COVID. And today I am going to spend six minutes to digest this paper with you all. But first, a very important disclaimer: this video is for educational purposes. Only and the facts that I present in this video is not suggesting or against the use of ivermectin. So, without further ado, let's head to the screen. First, let's look at a few key points before we go any further. Meta-analysis is a statistical analysis that combines the results of multiple scientific studies that address similar questions. For this paper, the authors looked at how ivermectin performed in the treatment and prevention of COVID-19. It analyzed 24 randomized controlled trials with 3,406 participants in all the trials combined, with data up to April 25, 2021. All of the analyzed clinical trials and this meta-analysis were not sponsored and conducted by the pharmaceutical industry and the government. They were all did by physician doctors. This implies minimum conflict of interest. The paper also used an evaluation system called the GRADE approach. This GRADE approach is very much involved, but to break it down, the GRADE approach assigned four different categories to the quality of evidence. They are very low, low, moderate, and high. And for any evidence that has a high grading, the quality of the evidence would be very good. And now let's look at the first question. Can ivermectin reduce the risk of COVID-19 death compared with no ivermectin? To address this question, the meta-analysis looked at 15 trials with 2,438 participants. For hospitalized patients on ivermectin, the risk of death is 2.3% and without ivermectin, the risk of death is 7.8%. They concluded the average risk ratio is 0.38. This means there is a 62% decrease in the risk of death. The quality of evidence is moderate. Second question, can ivermectin prevent COVID-19? For this question, the analysis looked at three different trials with a total of 738 participants. The wordings from the paper said that ivermectin probably reduces the contraction of COVID by 86%. The quality of evidence is low certainty. The research group stated it really needs more future studies with a better trial design and larger sample size to have a more definitive answer. The third question, is ivermectin safe? In the 11 trials assessing 1,500 participants, the meta-analysis concluded there were no differences between ivermectin and placebo in the risk of severe adverse event. The quality of evidence is however still in the low certainty because there were too few events to reach statistically significant differences. It is important to note that when ivermectin is used for parasitic infection at the dose of 0.2 to 0.4 mg per kilogram is considered safe and the adverse events are mostly minor and temporary according to the WHO document. Now let's look at where does the authority stand. Now, the WHO currently recommends ivermectin only be used for clinical trials. This was based on analyzing 16 different randomized control trials with 2,407 participants. And the US NIH website was last updated on February 11th, and basically they listed all the data from major studies up until that time and did not take a position on recommending or against the use of ivermectin in COVID patients. And lastly, the US FDA clearly stated people should not use ivermectin to treat or prevent COVID-19. 
And so what is the verdict? And here is the direct wording from the meta-analysis stated moderate certainty evidence find that large reduction in COVID-19 death are possible using ivermectin and using ivermectin early in the clinical course may reduce numbers progressing to severe disease. The apparent safety and low cost suggest that ivermectin is likely to have a significant impact on the pandemic globally. And so what is my interpretation? So after reading through the entire meta-analysis, it basically tells me that we need a very large randomized control trial to see if ivermectin really do work in the treatment and prevention of COVID. But the question is, who is going to conduct and sponsor such a clinical trial? Here in the US, all FDA approved new uses for existing drugs such as maybe ivermectin still require randomized control trial data and a full new drug applications being submitted to the FDA for approval and most of these new applications are sponsored by the pharmaceutical industry. The likelihood for this to happen in the US is not very high because there's no monetary incentive to sponsor a very low cost drug trial such as the ivermectin. But the upside is that here in the US, physicians can prescribe medicines for off-label use when there are no alternative medicines for the condition or they believe there is enough evidence suggesting its benefits outweigh the risk. So that's my digest on the meta-analysis and how ivermectin could possibly play a role in the management of COVID, in particular in countries with fewer resources and vaccines. I, I hope this digest is helpful. And if you uh, like to learn more about COVID-related topic and other health science topic, please give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel. This channel needs your help to reach more people. And please don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you think about ivermectin. And meanwhile, please stay safe and healthy. And I'll see you again next week. Bye.